taking a really pleasing night on the top, no doubt. Yeah, definitely. I think that uh, it wasn't probably our best game of football, but we came away with uh, three points. And, you know, derbies are always going to be tough. They're not necessarily going to be the best football sometimes, but uh, I think the crowd sort of got a close game and a hard fought game. So, but the three points are something that we wanted, and now, you know, we're sort of getting closer to the top spot. How important is that three points? Obviously, bridge a gap between yourself and Central Coast, but, um, you know, you want that top spot, don't you? Yeah, most definitely. I think, uh, you know, to get the win over your rivals is good, but, yeah, what we're aiming for is the, the top spot, so it gets us closer to Central Coast. Uh, you know, we've got a few really important games coming up, so hopefully the gap gets closer and, you know, we, we take out the top spot. What's a bit of a nervy finish, though? What did you think when you had David Williams you know, surging towards you late in the game? Yeah, you know, it's... I was wanting the clean sheet and, you know, but uh, in the end we got there. It wasn't, you know, as I say, the best probably uh, game from our point of view, but three points is all that counts at the end of the day, I guess, so we'll take it. It's a pretty high pressure position for you last night with 42,000 screaming fans and them all running at you, though. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was good to get that many fans in. Um, you know, the Derby is a special game for the Melbourne people, so it was good to be out there and playing in front of everyone. The rivalry has heated up a lot more this season now. It's finally developed. Uh, I mean, I haven't been here the last few seasons, but it, it felt like there's a good rivalry now. So, you know, it's it's a passionate game when everyone gets out there and plays. So, uh, it's great to be involved. I don't know. You got to take every week on its merits, but these five pretty hard games in a row is there a risk at all of it? Like, a lull at any stage? Is it hard to get yourself up every single week for, for those big games? Oh, I don't think so. I think everyone wants to play the big games and. We've got a few big ones coming up, so you know it's it's all about each week, as you say. But we have to be uh, to be focused on what we've got to do each week. Even the training field, you know, prepare properly and get out there and do what we need to do. Ah, uh, you know, often when teams change their coaches, they come out and have a bit of a push and you know improve a little bit. Uh, you know, I think the way we play is we always try and focus on our strengths and what we need to do to get, get the team playing properly and get the team to get the victory. So, I mean, most of our, our focus will be on ourselves. <laughs> yeah, you know, our, our supporters are fantastic. They give us a lift every time that we play in front of them. And we're lucky enough that people come away and support us on the road. So, you know, uh, it's sort of like our 12th man, I guess. So, you know, Adelaide normally have a good turnout and pretty big rivalry so it should be a great game, great great atmosphere. How much more improvement is there? I think there's a fair bit. I think we seem to be getting fitter and we seem to be uh, clicking more into Ange's uh, philosophies and tactics so you know every week we're working harder and harder and I guess with the new players they're going to fit in and it's going to take a little bit of time for them to uh, adjust but you know hopefully there's a lot more improvement. Yeah, it was an impressive performance by Scott Galloway last night in his first game. Yeah, definitely. He came in and did very well. He hasn't been at the club for very long. So, you know, he's a young boy, but he did fantastically well. So, you know, that, that just shows the depth that we now have in our squad. So it's it's interesting to think finals time. You've got a couple of injuries after last night. Uh, how's Marco Rojas pulled up? And... I think Marco's pulled up pretty well. I think uh, he had scans today, but I'm not too sure uh, how they went. But he seemed to be fine in the change room. I think... Uh, Nicky was probably the more serious one, but uh, I'm not sure how that's gone. And John Aloisi was pretty critical last night of Marcos Flores and that incident. I mean, did you see it and what do you think of what his comments after the match? I mean, I guess he was disappointed in the result and, you know, Marco, Marcos plays how he plays. I don't think uh, you know, anyone's going to change that and I, don't, I didn't see the, the penalty. But, uh, but, I mean, he thought it was a penalty, so I guess it was. Uh, that must have been a dream come true. Yeah, it was. It was unbelievable. I was speechless when I found out that I was going to be playing and um, just prepared myself as well as I could for it and tried to take the opportunity and uh, it was unreal. Uh, best experience of my life so far and hope there's more to come. Melbourne Derby, 42,000 people at Etihad Stadium. Yeah. It must have been crazy. Uh, it was. It was um, you walk out for the warm-up and there's probably 10,000 or so there and then you go back into the change room you don't realise until you come back out um, how many people are actually there supporting you 
and um, the roar of the crowd is just unbelievable. It's um, yeah, it was like a dream come true really to walk out. How many people had you played in front of previously? A thousand. That's, that's the most I've ever played in front of, and um, topped it by another forty-one thousand <laughs> last night. So. I was happy with that. What about your game? You know, you obviously had a, a fair few nerves, but how yep. long did it take for you just to work into a rhythm and feel comfortable? Uh, took a few touches because um, they wet the field after the warm up, so you had to get used to the, the wet surface. But um, I was I was happy with my game. A uh, few mistakes, which I got to work on. Um, you're always going to make mistakes, but try and be as perfect as you can. But just go back and look at the game, see what I did wrong, see what I can improve on. But in the end, I was happy with my game. I, I think the coaches are happy with my game. Um, got a lot of compliments after. What did Ange have to say? He just said you've done yourself well. You should be proud of yourself. Um, you played well. And the parents? My parents were stoked. Um, they were so happy for me. Uh, they didn't even expect to see me play. They were just coming for a holiday. And um, it just turned out to be absolutely perfect to make my debut when they were across in the Melbourne Derby as well, in front of 41,000. Yeah, I did. I had to pretty much start laying in bed at about nine o'clock. It took me about two hours to fall asleep. There was just nerves running over, um, just things that you wish you could do in the game and just trying to just prepare yourself as well as you can for it. Yeah, it was a big step up. Um, you just, you, you can't relax at all. You know, you have to be switched on the whole time. Um, you can try and relax, but then they'll just catch you out. So you really got to be switched on, be at the top of your game for the full game. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on you. Like big crowds want there, want to get the win as well. You want to get the win. You don't want to be the one to let the team down. And um, so you really, you got to prepare yourself. And um, yeah, it's good. Melbourne Victory legend Kevin Musket helped a lot with your preparation for the game. What was that like? It was great. Um, he helped me so much with it. Uh, he gave me like videos of David Williams that I was going to play on. Um, it helped me a lot. Like, I watched him probably three nights in a row before it, so I learned, tried to learn as much as I can about my player. Um, I think it helped me a lot. Um, when he got the ball, I had a feeling what he was going to do. There's times that I could stop it, and then times I just had to delay the play as much as I can, and lucky enough that I did that. Um, he just he gave me the confidence and Musker, all the players, all the staff and that there, they gave me the confidence before. They said you wouldn't be here if um, you didn't have the skill, like we believe in you. So it gave myself the confidence before I walked out there and um, yeah, it was, then it was just up to me to do the job on the field and what, what they backed me up with to prove them right as well.